I'm Mark Kramer. This is my wife, Kendall Kramer. We've been attending 121 since 2013. We started going to 121. We moved out to Grapevine. Uh, wanted to be a part of a church and get plugged in and become a part of the community. So we started researching churches here in Grapevine and came across 121. Uh, watched a couple of the sermons online and decided we wanted to check it out. Shortly after we started attending, we invited my brother and sister-in-law to come with us. And then my parents moved to Grapevine a little while later, and they were looking for a church in the area and started coming since we all were, and they've been attending ever since as well. I lead the 10th grade girls life group with two other women who are just phenomenal. Mark's jumped in, he's part of the worship team. I guess it was two years after we'd been at uh, 121, we heard about the International Justice Mission Global Prayer Gathering and we decided to attend because we thought that was a great thing to learn about anti-human trafficking. When Kendall and I started dating, she had shared that uh, she had an interest in adoption. About six months before we attended the IJM gathering, uh, God really put it on my heart about this is a time we had both finished school, we had gotten established in our careers, and, and so we, we kind of started discussing and then the IJM conference came about. And so after we went to that, we started talking about it again and God really just broke me. I mean, I cried for days after I got back. So we knew that God was really calling us to international adoption. When we talked about it, we both had the same thought, just we wanted to go somewhere where the gospel wouldn't be heard easily. Um, we wanted to be able to share that with a child. I mean, there were times when we just felt like it wasn't going to happen and just trying to make things happen on our own. You know, it's a struggle sometimes throughout the journey because you're just waiting and a lot of time you're waiting for paperwork or waiting for the government to get back to you. Uh, but it's been cool to encourage one another just that God's got it. It's God's timing. God knows who our child is. He's known for a long time. <laughs> and so um, I think it's really brought us closer together and yeah. um, made us appreciate the different strengths that we have. We had been what's called logged in in China since October. And so after that, it's just kind of a waiting game. And there's a child advocacy website that we checked regularly um, and found a little boy on there and reached out to his adoption agency and just kind of through some different things found out he had some certain medical needs that we wouldn't be able um, to take on or we felt like we wouldn't be able to. But what was neat is they reached out to us and said, well, we have another little boy. Would you be interested in learning more about him? And they sent us his pictures and his file and they only had what they thought was a little bit of information and 12 hours later they had his full information uh, which was so cool and so she sent us the whole file we looked at it and we just i mean i feel like we almost instantly knew that he was the one and so that started a whole new journey of trying to transfer agencies which was quite the process and it wasn't for sure that we were going to get it done in time. So this all happened in December, so holiday time, lots of paperwork. Uh, we sent everything to China, everything went so smoothly and on December 21st we found out that he was going to be our son and it was the best Christmas present we could have asked for and we were just overjoyed and just thankful for God's grace in that and for giving us patience <laughs> throughout that whole process. When we found out about Oliver, uh, it was really neat to go and tell everybody in the worship team and uh, student ministry and uh, with my accountability group and they've kind of been along in the journey with us. So it was really neat to share that excitement with them and it was just, it was awesome. Everybody prayed for us and uh, and it was just over overjoyed and all that paperwork working out. They were praying constantly and asking for updates. My 10th grade girls have been awesome. When I told them about it, they were so excited, started screaming and just offered to babysit and just couldn't wait to meet him. So it's been really neat, just all the people who've been so supportive. There's families at 121 who've adopted and who've been just so excited for us. And uh, when they found out the news, it just immediately invited us over for dinner and uh, celebrated with us and just have been and so helpful just in prayer and um, just material things that they could pass along to us to help um, with Oliver. Just everything has been so wonderful. God just gave us such a peace about it and really um, just opened all the right doors to make it happen. And 
our hearts are just, we know that that's our child. 